Hi readers, I am so excited to start this new unit with you. Um, hopefully you have your reader's notebook with you. I've got mine. And you've opened to the next available page. And I would love for you to write this teaching point at the top so that you can follow along with me today. Um, this is what I wanna teach you. Today, I wanna remind you that readers can have a growth spurt when they set big, ambitious, and yet specific goals for themselves. You know, just like this plant, it started out small in this little cup. I thought, oh, this is the perfect size for this little plant, but it's had a huge growth spurt. And I might need to plant it in something bigger now, replant that. So you too, readers, can have a growth spurt as a reader. You already know how to read, but that doesn't mean you're ever done growing as a reader. So what I wanna show you today is um, the ways that you go about setting a specific goal and then getting to work on that goal. So let's brainstorm. What are some possible goals that you might have as a reader? I know for myself, when I looked at my bookshelf at home, I noticed that a lot of the books that I read are memoirs. I like to read the stories of people's lives and how they reflect on their own lives. That helps me grow as a person. But I realized that I have so many memoir books at home that maybe it's time to try a new genre. So one of the goals that I'm working on as a reader is to try new genres. So I went ahead and tapped into this new book that I'm gonna be reading because it's a historical fiction book. So one of my goals is to move from reading memoir to uh, uh, historical fiction. So readers, I wrote that down in my notebook here, and I wanna share with you some other possible goals that you might set for yourself this year. Um, for example, if you read a whole book series, you might read it again backwards to find new things that you didn't notice before. Wouldn't that be so fun? You might choose to have a book suggestion sheet. I know a lot of readers who keep a page in their notebook where they write upcoming books or books I wanna read list. So maybe that's something you're gonna do this year. And every time you see a book online, if you're book shopping, or if you are able to chat with a friend, you might add a book to your book suggestion sheet. Um, maybe you wanna try reading a book in a different language. I just wrote, bought a new book for my daughter, Little Red Riding Hood, and it comes in English and Spanish. She's only four and a half, but I wanna expose her to new books. So maybe that's a goal that you're gonna set for yourself this year. Maybe you just wanna spend more time reading. Maybe you wanna set a new place in your house where you can grow as a reader. Maybe you're used to reading in your bedroom, but maybe you wanna try sitting out on the patio to um, just kind of see what that feels like. Um, maybe you wanna do like a little um, uh, exploration of what your classmates are reading. That might be one way. You might reach out and start talking about texts more and more. You might read two books and then compare them to see um, how um, they are the same and how they're different. You might read two books from the same author. So you might set a goal for yourself this year to do an author study. So readers, write down a couple of possible goals. And then I want you to go in and I want you to actually circle one or two of those goals. Circle one or two of those goals. Good job. Okay, now I want you to think about those goals and let's think, what is one or two ways that I can have an action plan to set after that goal? So if one of my goals is to read new genres, my action plan is going to be go to Amazon and add some new different types of books to my shopping cart so that I don't always buy the same ones. And then Amazon will start to recognize, oh, is she's trying new books? And then it will recommend different titles for me. Or call a friend. Hey, Rosie, what type of book do you like to read? Have you read any historical fiction? What book did you like? So that's gonna go on my action plan, call a friend. Okay, so I've got two things I'm gonna do to work on my goal to reading different genres. Bookshop a little bit differently online and call a friend, okay? 
So look at your goal and write down two things that you can do to accomplish that goal. Two small specific things that you can do to accomplish that reading goal. Okay, another goal I have for myself this year is to do more blogging. I want to do more writing about the books that I read. So I want to think, what are one or two things that I can do? What's my action plan to get better at that goal? Okay. Readers, once you think about the goal that you have and the action plan that you can set to get better at that, I certainly hope that that's going to help you set a growth spurt for yourself as a reader. So today, when you go off and read, I want you to be thinking about that goal and spend some time working towards the goal, okay? So if my goal is to start blogging more, then I might, as a reader today, collect a list of blogging topics and ideas and then try one of those out. If my goal is to grow what types of books that I read, I'm going to spend a little bit of my reading time today working towards my action plan. I can't wait to see the growth spurt that you're going to have this year as a reader. And just remember, one of the best ways to grow as a reader is to set some goals and determine an action plan. Have a wonderful time reading today.